I just want to be an artist. <laughs> There is something insanely relatable about the 40-year-old version, Rada Blank's Netflix dramedy. For all its excellence in aesthetics, tone, and performances, it's the messaging of the film that stood out to me, most notably how I find it relevant to my own life as a working professional. So in this analysis, I'll cover the three reasons the 40-year-old version is such a powerful film for depicting the life of struggling rat racers in the working world. So stick around. The 40-year-old version is bound to be confused with Judd Apatow's The 40-year-old version. I mean, try saying the film's name to someone and you'll get what I mean. But funnily enough, the similarity of the titles also aligns with the film's key theme, and that is the struggle between conformity and individuality. Without any spoilers, the film tells the story of struggling playwright Radha Blank, who gets a chance at producing her dream play, only to meet crippling obstacles that threaten to alter the whole idea of her script. If you follow film industry news, this is probably something you've heard about often. Writers and directors leave projects all the time due to creative differences with the studio. But this is an idea that working professionals face too, albeit on a more primal level. Think about this, have you ever presented an idea only to have it ripped apart by the highest paid people in the room just because it's different? Have you ever been told not to speak out against an action or a policy for fear of being seen as the outsider? These are all things that push us to conform to the norm, and in the case of the 40-year-old version, that conformity comes in the form of Radha's agent Archie and her producer Whitman. Whitman is clearly the pompous, mansplaining antagonist who criticizes Radha's ideas and even manages to throw in some pretty racist remarks. I asked myself, did a black person really write this? Archie, played amazingly by Peter Kim, is generally supportive and sympathetic, but he too advises Radha to accept the script changes in order to get her accepted by the showbiz community. Radha must make decisions that many working professionals make, whether to follow the so-called safe route and stick to the system while compromising on her values, or be disruptive and expose her career to some risk. As a struggling artist, this career risk could be dangerous. It's encouraging to note that many workplaces are adopting cultures of openness and disruptive innovation, but that doesn't mean there aren't still some old-schooled organizations which force their workers to abide by their set conventions. Of course, you could see this problem outside of the workplace as well, like in school. But I found that by and large, it's the organizations where the effect of conformity versus individualism is most strongly felt. Now in the 40 year old version, Radha does have another option. Instead of producing her dream play, Radha also gets interested in creating a rap mixtape. Because of her upbringing and her high school hobbies, Radha is just great at rhyming and tries to apply these skills as an alternative to producing her play. This brings us to the next reason the film is relatable to working professionals, and that's the apprehension of doing something new. Everyone has the experience of doing something new, but the prospect of pivoting away from one career to another is often scary, especially when you want to do something you're more passionate about, but you've already got so much experience in your current field. In the film, Rada used to be a successful playwright more than a decade ago, but it's clear that everyone still sees her as being a woman of the theater industry. When she makes it clear she wants to pursue rap, she's unsurprisingly told not to steer away from her current direction. We could liken this to an experienced worker who feels like changing industries but is worried about how that will affect their lives. Or perhaps a younger worker who is afraid of restarting his or her career and falling behind compared to their peers. In the film, this problem is made interesting by two factors. One, because we know Radha is struggling between conformity and individualism, rapping is very clearly a way to showcase her creative side freely. No rules, no interference from executives, no judging eyes from the rich and powerful, just a sick beat and the emotions pouring through Radha in the form of her lyrics. But whether it pays the rent is very uncertain, and Radha is thus faced with the dilemma of prioritizing either rap or her play. 
Secondly, the rap scene depicted in the film is initially filled with many younger people, and Rada being almost 40 feels slightly out of place in this new world, the same way anyone might feel when entering a slightly different culture. It's not until later in the film when we see this change in an epic way which I won't spoil. But this segues us nicely into the last reason the film is relatable to working professionals, and that's to do with growth over time. There are many signs that the 40-year-old version is also a film about time, and more specifically, the effect of time and experience on personal growth. Radha's mother passed away a year ago, and Radha refuses to clear out her mother's apartment. As the film goes on, we hear her brother's increasingly frantic phone calls encouraging Radha to return to her mother's place. This represents the fact that as time goes on, relationships that you leave hanging become harder to reconcile. In this scenario, Radha starts from a position of stagnation. This also tells us that in order for characters like Radha to grow, she must come face to face with her stagnation and use the time she has to overcome it. For working professionals, growth is always something to think about, and you're either growing to catch up with more experienced members of the organization or growing to keep up with the evolving skill sets of the younger generation. Even though Rada is approaching 40, we see how her experience and struggles actually allow her to include more substance into her rap lyrics compared to younger rappers, a positive example of experience. The point I'm making is that growing involves not just facing up to unfamiliar and sometimes uncomfortable situations, it's also about willing to give up your time to learn from them. Rada Blank's arc embodies the theme of growth and experience and shows that no matter how much time has passed in life, there's still plenty of room to grow and make something of yourself. Whatever it is that they've been kind of suppressing because they fear they're too old to do something. I'm starting a career in, in, as a filmmaker in my 40s. So if that's not a testament to giving yourself a chance to have a new path, then I don't know what is. She's absolutely right. Maybe it resonated with you too, and maybe it didn't, but the best part of this film is that there are still a ton of things that make it a joy to watch. For one, the film is absolutely gorgeous with its use of black and white and some amazing white shots of New York. I have never stepped foot in the US, let alone New York, but the 40-year-old version makes New York seem familiar to us, almost like it comes alive as its own character. If you can't tell, the film is also really stylish, and the tone transitions seamlessly between humor and the drama that comes with chasing one's dreams. I don't think I can end this video without of course talking all also about Radha Blank herself, the writer, director, and lead for this film. She's absolutely amazing and should definitely be in the conversation for an Oscar. I'd like to see Peter Kim also get some award buzz for a brilliant performance. To quote Nell Minno of RogerEbert.com, the 40-year-old version is brimming with sharp but often understated humor and a deep experience of making art. Don't think because you created something that people would appreciate it. Rada tells her students, but the unstated message is, don't think just because people don't appreciate you that you haven't told a story worth telling. And I think this is definitely a story worth telling. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it and you saw something from a different perspective. I absolutely love the movie as you can tell, so I would like to know what you think as well. Put it in the comments and let's have a discussion. As always, I'll be back with another video for you guys soon, so until next time, have a great week ahead, maximum hype, and I'll see you soon.